you look great today. Who would have thought you could look so fantastic and be so nice? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at the art supplies that I have used in the past year. And I'm talking about literally all I've used, which is not a heck of a lot. I didn't count how many things it is, but it's like not very much. I know some people like to collect tons and tons of stuff and um, I have a bunch of art supplies, but I haven't necessarily used them, used them, used them in the past year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with my go-to pencil that you've probably seen before if you've been watching my videos. And by the way, all of these art supplies, I bought them on Amazon. There you go. I guess you could buy them somewhere else if, if you're, you know, anti-everything in the, the world, but um, really it's kind of ridiculous. Whether you spend your money going to a store or you spend your money on Amazon, you're spending money. And yeah, I know you can go into the whole, but Amazon, but you can do that about anything. How about we just uh, be nice and, um, you know, be nice. So anyways, my go-to pencil is the Bic Velocity and it's orange, which is my favorite color. <laughs> I have another one, but I've never used it. I have gone through, I think, three LEDs this past year. Uh, I love this. I absolutely love it. I'm trying to see what the number is. It's uh, 0.9, um, but it is mushy at the end, which is always nice. And uh, it's just great. And I know there is some people that, you know, they, they're like, oh, you should hold a pencil like this when you draw, or you should hold, I don't know, hold it like that, or maybe hold it in your teeth. But, you know, I'm kind of old school. I hold the pencil like this. I hold chopsticks like this. I use everything like this. I even drink with my water bottle. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, but yeah, this is a great mechanical pencil. I love it. It's dirt cheap and it works great. I actually, earlier in the year, bought myself some really nice pencils that I saw somebody's video, I'm not gonna say who, um, saying how great they are, and if you do art, you should get these pencils. I bought them, I don't like them. <laughs> but these are great. And those pencils, by the way, were the last thing that I bought, because I, I don't think that I need any more to create stuff, because I think I'm doing okay as it is. Oh no, actually I did get one thing earlier and I'll talk about that next. That is this awesome Pentel um, art brush. If you haven't seen the review, I absolutely, where's the camera? Adore this thing. It is just like working with a brush, but it's a pen. The only fallback I would say with it, having used it, is I use a lot and I'm going through the ink like crazy and it's cartridges. So I might have to go to a traditional calligraphy brush that somebody was mentioning recently to me that I should try that out because I dig it. This is cool. Um, I, if, I haven't looked into it, but if they make a finer one, I might go to the finer one because I find that this one... Um, it's almost a little too thick for my sketchbook. It's not bad, I love it, but I'm kind of like, hmm, I like a finer line maybe. Because my other go-to is this Uniball Vision Needle Black Pen. I love this thing, man. Like, absolutely love it. I actually am really glad that I got two of them because this is now my second one. It came in a pack. Um, actually, it came in a pack with a whole bunch of different colors, blue and red, and I think I've only ever used the black. I really, really, really love this. If I would say there are two things that you should get, those two babies right here, those are great. Um, my go-to, actually, not just my go-to, my only uh, thing I use as a brush is this thing, which is crazy. I use it all the time. Highly recommend it. It's my Pentel art brush. Love it. I have to put more water in it. 
I use it literally every day. I wish I had invented it. <laughs> That's how much I love it. Um, I should also mention, I haven't done a review, but I only use, well, if I'm not, you know, trying to use what's left of that eraser on the end of my pencil, um, I only use the Stadler. It's a gum eraser and it is great. Uh, as you can tell, it gets used, but there's a lot of life in that, baby. It came with a kneadable eraser as well. I should do a review on just that thing. But anyways, really great. If you want a good eraser, that's one to get. And then the last type of pen that I use, I've already used one up, and it is a Sakura Fine, Medium, and Bold White Gel Ink Pen. It's a Jelly Roll White. Ta -da! These are great. Love them. Really great. Now, some of you probably already seen my review. This baby, oh man, this is the best thing ever. It's the Himi or Mia watercolor set. It's the only watercolor palette that I use. This thing is fantastic. I'm running out of the black. I am gonna refill it with uh, some more black, but unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna refill it with the Himi stuff just because I can't seem to find separate little bottles of it. That's the only fallback. Case is awesome. It's light. I can literally put this in my pocket. I would have thought pocket would have said something when I mentioned her name. This is great. And you can, you know, look at your reflection in it. Check your hair. Oh my gosh, your hair is standing up. Um, <laughs> that's all my hair ever does. This is fantastic. though. I absolutely love it. Now, I know some of you want tons and tons of paint. But you know what? You can mix paint together. And this thing opens up and... It is the best thing ever. And those are the only tools I use. My go-to sketchbook, I'm not gonna show you the inside because this is my new sketchbook, is the Moleskin. Um, I have recently, and I listened to what somebody said, hey, James, you should try this out. Um, someone that watched the video. So I actually got one, I'm gonna do a review on it. I'm not gonna say its name right now, but um, I'm going to try out another sketchbook this year after this one, but the moleskin, man, this is great. And yes, it's covered in Mandalorian stickers and Yoda, baby Yoda. I love it. It's the watercolor one. It's fantastic. Now that is my main go-to, but since I started doing the channel, I've also been using the Canson XL watercolor, um, had and this is fantastic I will probably be doing a sketchbook tour after I fill this thing up which is gonna take a while I don't even know how many pages are in it but there's a lot of pages and it's very heavyweight um, paper it's awesome I really love it um, I wouldn't have thought that I would like it because honestly when I first got it I'm like it looks kind of you know, it's just got a cardboard cover. I, I didn't think much of it. But then when I started using it, I was like, holy smokes. Whatever cold pressed means, it must have been cold pressed with love because this thing is great to work with. The way that the, as some of you have seen, the way that the color, watercolor responds to these pages, it is out of this world. You know, it is really, really nice. So, that is literally it. So if you're on a budget, or if you are a minimalist, or if you just like doing art, I would recommend these things because it is literally all I use. Yeah, you know what, I have some markers and I have some pencil crayon watercolors, and but I never use them anymore. I literally every day am using my watercolors from this. And I know some of you are like, ah, oh, it's not professional quality. Well, you know what? Call me an outsider. <laughs> Call me a simpleton if you want. Um, but I love this. And I would gladly sell a painting that I've done with this because I love it. Sure, there may be better stuff, but you know what? You don't need it. 
I don't believe that you do. You can tell me whatever you want, but I'm going to hold steadfast to that. I don't think an artist needs to spend a fortune on art supplies. And in fact, I think our world doesn't need us to be spending a fortune on things, to accumulate things, to need a whole separate room just to keep your art supplies in. You need some paints, you need a brush or some brushes, I just use this, um, and away you go. Now, that said, I also have my paints that I've had literally forever for the acrylic stuff that I do. Um, so whenever I'm working on that kind of stuff, I do use those, but I don't use them every day. When I'm talking about the stuff I use every day, I can literally hold my tools of creation in one hand and my sketchbook, it has a wet painting in it, in the other, and just get to work. So there you go. Those are the things that I've used. Tell me in the comments below what you use. I'd love to know. Um, and you know what? If you have some cool ideas of things to try out, share it with others. Because um, at the end of the day, we all benefit from hearing the cool things that each of us does in our creative life. Um, because we're all smarter together. No one of us has all the answers. And that is a very good lesson in this life. That's why you should have an open mind and try new things. Just be awesome. So, there you go. Quick and easy. Those are the things that have got me through the past year. And it's what I'm using in this new year. So you take care of yourself. Keep being awesome. And doing awesome things and create every single day. Make that sketchbook come alive with the cool creations that you've done. And be a good and compassionate person to all the things around you. And until next time, you take care, and I'll see you soon.